Hey y'all, it's Costume Jeweler. We're headed into the red, white, and blue, my favorite purse store. They also will have great jewelry usually. Here's hoping that we find a lot of things because this may be a no budget shopping spree. It just depends on what they have. We're gonna hit the purses on the wall first and then the ones behind the counter and then jewelry. Also some knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, trinkets. So hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on these video uploads and my live buy it nows and auctions on my channel as well as those great free giveaways subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thumbs up for this video this is the hillsboro drive location they also have another location on waters and then they have a place in brandon i think it's bradenton or brandon not sure i haven't been to that one yet not sure how well it is but they take cash only so make sure you pl bring plenty of cash and if you don't have enough and you find more things in here than what you anticipated guess what they have an atm machine and they close at six o'clock so come prepared six o'clock and if you love clothes they have tons of clothes so y'all will be shopping for clothes for quite a while but you can see all of them there and they have lots of wigs too Look at this very first bag up. This is a very good brand. I said we we're gonna hit the wall first. We're not, we're gonna hit the shelves first. I think we need to hit the shelves because there's too much good stuff here. This is why it's my favorite store. Look at this y'all. Gosh, can you not be in love? Can you not be in love with this? Look at this bag. And just so you know, you can send me an email if I did purchase something, I'll send you a price quote. As soon as you walk in this place, look at this y'all. Wow, 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 wow. The inside is decent condition. We're gonna get it. Looks good condition on the purse too. Love it. Next up. A maroon Kate Spade. We'll think on that one. Beautiful bag though. What's this one here? Gosh, Dooney and Burke. Have you ever seen a Dooney and Burke like this? Y'all look at this. Brand new. Brand new. Wow, with tags. Beautiful tail coach right there, no rubs on it. I'm anticipating that the inside is gonna be perfect as well. This says Michael Kors. But the handles, I don't know y'all. Would the handles rub like that? Cute bag though, but I'm just not sure that the handles would rub like that if it was real. The inside this tail coach looks like it's in good condition, so we'll think about this one. So I call this teal, it's kind of a greenish teal, beautiful. What kind of little box is this? This is cute. Is this a jewelry box? This is super cute. We got a little mouse there, a little mouse mouse. It's kind of a jewelry box, y'all, look at this. You got your little side pocket right here. So it's a music box, and then you have another little jewelry container back here. I think we're going to get that too. I love that. You open it up and you get the Christmas tree dancing around. It's like when you come around the corner right here, you got you possibly have little trinket boxes. So you definitely want to take a look at those. Ooh. I love this bowl. Look at this one. Isn't that cute? Boy, soldier box. Let's get back to these purses. So I think we're going to get this one. I've seen this brand before and I believe that this is probably a very expensive brand. I'll show you the purse. Looks to be good condition. Comment below. Is Jay McLaughlin a good brand to pick up? So wicker. Bamboo handles. Good con... Well, shoot. I don't know if that can be cleaned off or not. I don't know if we'll get this one or not now. I think we're going to have to pass on this one because of the staining right there. I don't know if that can be cleaned or if you can probably like stain that leather a different color. 
Look at this coach. The inside's good condition. Michael Kors. Let's go check the jewelry up front. It's only five minutes in and about seven potential purses in that cute music box. Look at this green couch, y'all. $249. So we always go through this stuff pretty fast. So we can hopefully get hit other stores besides just this one. Anthropology piece, brand new with tags. Michael Kors wallet. It's a little damaged on the end. Another Michael Kors wallet, gold color. Look at this Idian Anya, y'all. Look how cute this is. A little bitty handbag. This. Spotted this right around the corners. Cute little Spartina ID bag. There's the back of it. So that's a really cute little bag right there. Look at that. I think we're going to get that one. I know there's some people out there that are fans of this brand. It's good condition. Good condition on that one. A little Spider-Man wallet. Cute. That one looked vintage. Not sure I'm gonna get it. What's this leather one right here? Pretty leather wallet. GH Bass Company. Juicy Couture. Look at the inside though. I love the way they put all these labels on the inside. Charge it. Great wallet right there. This in here, little Jessica Simpson. Fossil. Good looking fossil. What is this one? I don't think that's anything fancy. What's this? Never heard of the horse. Let's see, what do we have down here? This is a cute crossbody, croc embossed. It's real leather, no brand name on it. Vera Bradley, look at this coat. So I've sold a big purse similar to this. This is a coach wristlet. Looks to be in decent condition. Got that cute coach there. Is this a Chala? Charming Chala? I don't know. I don't think so. Ooh, another coach. Chicken and cute Dooney bag right there, a little clutch wristlet. Michael Kors. Coach. Fossil again. Let's find here. If this is a Stingray wallet, I'm gonna pass out. Cause y'all saw me buy one the other day, right? And that man's wallet, this looks like Stingray. Let's hope it is. Let's hope this is Stingray. I'll show you up close. It's looking similar, ladies. Usually it would say Stingray somewhere. This is the brand on it. So we're gonna carry this around and comp it at the end and see if it's Stingray. If it's Stingray, I'm gonna pack it up. But it's looking like it, but I'm gonna have to look that brand up. If y'all have any idea of this brand, comment below. 
but that is really looking like Stingray to me. But it may not be. But y'all saw that wallet uh, a few days ago. Genuine leather, Valerie Stevens. Looks like an ostrich print. Don't know anything about Valerie Stevens. I like it though, but I don't know that I'm gonna get it. Jordash. Gosh, I haven't seen Jordash in a long time. And Taylor Wallet. This one's looking fancy fancy with this beautiful gold emblem. Cute, but not designer marked on the inside. It doesn't even say if it's real leather or not. So we're gonna pass on that one, but I do love that emblem. Look at this one, y'all. Ranchero Cowhide. Definitely vintage, isn't it? Got another fossil right here. So fossil wristlet, look how cute that is. This one's called Street Level. Got the Tory Birch here. Another fossil. So this is a really cute fossil. You have the key, the chain. Love it. Look at this one, y'all. It looks fancy, but I don't know if it is or not. Look at that. Is that fancy? I don't know if it is or not. Another brand I've never heard of before. So far, we might. We're going to think on them. So I'm going to go over here and look at this jewelry real quick. Then we're going to hit the walls at the back. Oh, wow, that's huge. It's over here. I've seen before where they have wallets bagged up, so I don't always check this section out. I did once and found a Fendi. But you never know where you're going to find something at. Look how pretty this one is, y'all. And I don't think it's sterling either.
It's like kind of a Greek key style right there on that copper bracelet. I think someone gave up their entire copper bracelet set. Here's another one. Let's see if it says anything on here. I like this one though. Look at that. I like that. I think we're going to get it. But sadly, I'm going to leave all of these behind. The entire copper bracelet collection is here today, y'all. Avon. Show you some others. I just dug out this box. This is Annie and Alex. I believe so. Alex and Annie. Dragonfly. Made out of fork tines. Look at that. This might be sterling. Malachite. I, mean, I don't see it marked, but I'll still test it. Because even if it's not marked, doesn't mean it's not. Love it. This one might be gold filled. Little itty bitty boy might get it. This one's marked something, I can't tell what it says. Don't know if that's gold or vermeil. So we're gonna get this because Curiosity killed the cat. But again, I can't tell right there. If y'all can, let me know. But right there on the class, there's some marking. I'm going to shine this up. We're going to get it. I don't know if that's gold or not. It might be. Look at these gorgeous earrings. They're huge. Probably about two inches, three inches diameter. Going to get those. And I like this set too. It's pretty fancy looking resin. Maybe Ann Klein. Nice tree. They sold out on their gold yesterday when they had their half off. Oh, that's a pretty necklace. What brand is that one right there, y'all? Look at that. I like this one here. So we'll come back and look at some of these. Or we'll just see them right here right now. I'm gonna go check the wall out in the back. See what they've got over there. See what brand that one is. Maybe Coach. Not sure what that says. And I love these small coaches right here. And when you turn your back, they're putting out more purses. Okay, we saw this one all ago, the wallet. I don't know that brand, y'all. Is that fancy or not? Fancy or not, it's not leather. They definitely should sell these together like that. I don't know if I'll get this or not. So it's not a nesting doll, it looks like it. Jingles. Trail of Painted Ponies. It's kind of a cute trinket. Cats, genuine leather made in Spain, purse sitting on top of the rack. And that's a pretty cute bag, y'all, and that's right on top of the rack, but it's called Cats. 
all leather baby Spain. Northern Lights, me and my friend Tammy were talking about these today. Isn't that beautiful? The Northern Lights plate. Super cool. I'm gonna go check out the wall of knickknacks and purses. Are these fancy? Warfield something. Bath and Body Works tote. Nice jewelry box right there. And look at this one, y'all. in the little slot thing right there. Here's the top of it. So you got, what is that, Mother of Pearl Abalone Shell. It's a really nice box. Artwork, artwork, artwork. Look at this one. That's pretty too. Usually dig that's felt or something. I love the scorpion paperweight, y'all. Look at that. We're getting it. That's a super cool paperweight. I love it. I love it. I love it. Lots of stuff to look at. What is this? Oh wow. Y'all, I'm thinking this might be old. It's like a Lucite handle purse. In your what naughty doodaddy section. I think it is. That is a great find for sure. I think those can run pretty expensive. I'm not sure what that one is worth, but we're getting it regardless. Look at this shell. We're gonna get it anyway, because I think they do run expensive. Make sure you always look up top. I found a snake up there one time. A snake. Not a real one. Not a real one. I wonder if this is worth anything. Mommy! Love this trinket box. different, isn't it? This to me is a fun poster because it's really old. Looks old. So the entire alphabet in comical, comical series. We're definitely getting this one, y'all. Russian lacquer box. This is a little trinket box. And they can run really expensive. Russian lacquer box. Look how pretty that is. This is not marked anywhere. 
anybody know anything about this figurine right here? I don't know either, but I like it just a little bit. Y'all ready to hit that purse ball? Ready to hit the purse wall. It's right around the corner. Picking up a lot of trinket boxes today. Ooh, this is heavy metal. Oh my god, this is heavy. What do y'all know about this one? The glass is missing. This is really heavy. I wonder what that's worth if it's repaired. Okay, y'all, we're going to rush through these. Look at all these. We're going to go quick because yeah, I'm sure that it's running up on time for them to close. And we don't want to miss out on anything. Cause I don't keep track of time when I'm in here. I just thrift. So y'all have something to watch. Cole Hahn. I love that Lucite purse so much. That's probably going to be my favorite pack up so far today. This is what called Policati. P-U-L-I-C-A-T-A Italy. What do y'all know about that brand? Is that worth pecking up or not? Because I don't know. Dooney. Yes. I'm going to pass on it. Liz Claiborne. What's this one here? Let's look top to bottom. Snake print. Here's hoping we find a treasure in here somewhere. You just never know. This one does not feel like real leather. Here's another vintage Dooney. Super popular in the 90s, 80s and 90s. Which we all know that. Coach Signature Series. What's that? Now this looks, oh, this is a big Mikowski. Look at this, y'all. Gosh darn it. Good condition on the inside. This is a pretty bag. Look at this B Mikowski, y'all. We may just have to get that one. Looks to be in good condition. Cute little crossbody made in Greece. That is cute. Is this a coach? Is it, is it, is it? It is not. It's Prince and Fox. Prince and Fox. Holter Dooney, another Anya Black. Vintage. Koblenz Perma Suede is what it says. Now that's a cute vintage bag right there. Look at the gold hardware on it. It's a good condition. I think we're going to get that one. I think we are. Relic. Is this one leather? It looks like it is. We're going to get this one too. I don't know anything about this brand, but there's the brand. It is real leather. Looks like some sort of a crossbody messenger type bag. Can be a shoulder bag. I love running into all these brands that I have no clue 
if they're any good or not, but we just take the chance. It's kind of like a no budget shopping spree, I guess. Michael Kors, we just take the chance, ladies, take it. so far you always kind of check over the briefcases too because you don't know what they're gonna have look at this one what do y'all think about this one all leather made in Italy. We are getting it. Look at that fancy tote. Never ever heard of that brand before. But I don't care. It's all leather. We are getting this one. Add that to the mix. Fancy, fancy. Fancy, fancy. Gosh, I love this place. This is L. Brand new. Yeah, the fancy Italy bags. I love to get those if we can. Don't discount the backpacks. Maybe something hidden around here. Head of E. Oh, look at that. I think those are like souvenir purses, don't y'all? sack roots but I'm not sure about that staining right there how to get that out some more on that side so we're gonna pass is this gonna be anything fancy for us right here now this is cute y'all look at this I don't usually buy nine west but look how cute this is because y'all know I love that snake skin print always always snake skin print leopard print preferably real calf hair not cat's hair yes c-a-l-f hair Love, love, love. So I won't be hitting the other red, white, and blue today and clearing it out, unfortunately. Well, let's look down through here at some of these whatnotty stuff. It doesn't take very long. Mahjong. I've seen lots of people use these for different things, like jewelry and stuff, which is fun to me. I think it always makes for the cutest jewelry. The Mahjong beads. Let's take a look down here. We've really knocked this place out. We've got that Lucite purse, lots of handbags. Look at that cute cutting board right there. I don't sell cutting boards, but look how cute that stinker is. That could have been out at the Airbnb. That'd be awesome to have out there, wouldn't it? There's another one. Those are all over the place, too, like those copper bracelets. Why is this piece of jewelry right here? All your fancy dishes. Maybe 
maybe that's for hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. Okay, y'all, I think that's it for me. We've got tons of stuff right here. Lucite purse and everything else. We're going to get out of here now. And until next video or live sale. And also watch those 15 second short videos. That's where I post purses and jewelry also for sale. First person to email me when I post those 15 second videos that say they want the item gets it. First person that I get an email from gets it. So check those out because we do put a lot on there as well. Lola, it is a good brand. Until next time, y'all. We'll see y'all later. Bye.